Is there anything more perfect than a red lip for the holidays? For me, honestly, there is nothing more perfect for pretty much any special occasion. I really do like a red lip. I always have. It is my color of choice when I perform. I am a concert pianist and when there are concerts, usually a red lip is what I wear on stage. And I thought, what's more perfect than going through and showing you guys all of my red lipsticks during my no buy mass. So if you guys are curious to see all of my red lipsticks, then please keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome to my 12 days of Vlogmas or no buy mas. And I'm really excited for today's video because I am going to be trying on all of my red lipsticks for you guys. I love red lips anytime to be honest, but the holidays. The holidays i got a little bit glammed up for you guys today for the holidays i also did film this eye look i don't know if it's gonna go up first i think it's just gonna depend on how my schedule is and how nice the editing gods are to me so you guys will either already have seen this eye look and in that case i can also link the video up in the eye cards or if it's not up yet it'll probably be the next video after this one or shortly thereafter but you guys are not here for the eye look you're here for all of my red lipsticks or at least I am here right now for all of my red lipsticks so that's what we're about to do but before we get started for those of you new to my channel welcome my name is Natalia I'm doing a year-long no buy for the entire year of 2020 and this is the year where I get to really explore what I already have because it is a lot I have already done some of my makeup collection uh, series videos and there's more to come and some of the ways that that I have managed to get through this no buy is to shop my own stash and to play with the makeup that I already have and to come up with video ideas with the makeup that I already have and this is one of them this is giving me a chance to go back and rediscover all of my red lipsticks so if you're also on a no buy or a low buy or maybe considering one for the upcoming year or maybe none of those things maybe you're just here for a little inspiration a little motivation fun ways to use a product you already own and just talk about makeup in a slightly more mindful in a slightly more frugal way and when I say frugal I don't necessarily mean that we have to only buy more affordable products I mean just really thinking our purchases through maybe following the fewer but nicer things mentality more so than acquiring every single thing that we instantly want maybe waiting things out really thinking them through so if any of that or all of that sounds good to you then i really hope that you will consider subscribing ringing the notification bell i don't know does that even do anything anymore nowadays can somebody tell me <laughs> but regardless i really hope that you will consider subscribing and joining our frugal family and without further ado let's get into all of my red lippies okay we're gonna start with what is on my lips already if you guys have been here before if you have watched my videos you probably already know what this is this is a lipstick that i recently lost and i was so so heartbroken because it is one of my favorite reds if not it's a toss-up these this one and one other one you guys will see later today are probably my oldest reds and also my favorite reds and they're kind of neck and neck so this is the sephora cream lip stain this is in 01 and i believe it's called always red this is like their most classic red at least for me on my skin tone i think this is as classic as you get. I love this one. I will try to insert clips of me trying these on. I've never done a swatch video before, so I have no idea how this is going to go. I right away in advance want to apologize for two things. My hair, which has not been colored in months. My Isalon hair color is on its way and I am so excited. It cannot get here fast enough. By the way, if you have never tried Isalon, it's an at-home color system where professional hair colorists will mix the color especially for you based on pictures you provide. I've done a video on that the very first time I ever did it during the pandemic, so I can link that for you guys in the iCards if you're curious to watch that. And I always do have my referral link 
link in the description box. It's one of those a standard, if you get a friend to subscribe, you get $10 and I get $10 or some such thing. I can't remember now the actual amount, but it's one of those links that pretty much every company nowadays does. So if you are new to eSalon and you've never had an account with them before, never ordered anything with them before, you can use a link to save some money. So that's the first thing. Please ignore the hair. I tried to just put it up in a bun and get it out of the way so you guys are not distracted by the mess that it is. And then the second thing is I have a bunch of breakouts and a ton of dry skin right now, right around this area. And of course, what a worse place to get that when I had a lip swatch video that I really wanted to do. I'm really sorry about all this, but I really wanted to get this video up during my vlogmas, no by mess, and I hope that you will forgive this very dry change of seasons, cold weather, plus reaction to something situation. With those disclaimers and apologies and whatnot out of the way, we're gonna move on to my second lip. All right, since I already mentioned that I have a tie for my number one red lipstick, let's get the other one out of the way. It's the iconic MAC Ruby Woo. I love this lipstick. This is another one that I wear on stage a lot. This is a second tube that I've owned. The first one I didn't fully use up, but I used up a good amount of it and it was getting really old. And I think it was last year that Ulta was having this half off during their 21 days of beauty. So I picked up a fresh tube of this and I am going to be using the whole entire time the NYX Hot Red liner for all of these swatches. Usually I would fill in with the liner completely for these lip swatches just so you guys can see the actual lip colors a little better. I'm just going to outline my lips instead the best I can and I'm just using a lip liner to kind of give me a guide a little bit otherwise things will get messy. Okay so this is MAC Ruby Woo. Oh I forgot to mention this is their retro matte lipstick formula. It's definitely more drying than their regular matte formula which is quite creamy but I feel like this formula doesn't travel, which for such a bright color is actually a great thing. As I've mentioned, I wear this on stage and even through performing, sweating, talking to the audience, usually this holds up really, really well. As I'm getting older, do get a lot of bleeding around the ends of the mouth, but honestly, every lipstick is now doing that. And of course, now with this dry skin and breakouts situation right around my mouth, I'm sure it's not gonna look the best, but this is what MAC Ruby Woo looks like on me. This is a tie. I can't choose between between my Ruby Woo and my Sephora cream lip stain. I'd love to hear if you guys think that one looks better on me than the other. So this is my second red lipstick in my collection. This is MAC Ruby Woo and I love it so much. Okay, I think next I'm gonna go with my liquid lipsticks while my lips are still alive and not very angry at me for all the swatching. So up next is going to be liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors. I love Dose of Colors formula. And this is in Kiss of Fire. So I'm again going to put on some of the NYX liner and then show you guys Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. All right, here we have Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. This one definitely is to me a bit of a hybrid between a red and almost like leaning pink, like a magenta combined together into one. And I really do enjoy this one, but it definitely has a slightly different tone. It really pops. I really 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 like this one and that's what it looks like. Oh boy, I kind of wish I saved that dose of color lipstick for the end. I completely forgot how much it stains and that was me just applying it, showing it to you guys and taking it immediately off and I by now have tried to take it off but lip balm, I wiped the lip balm off and then put a tiny bit of concealer and powder and I have big lips still from this lipstick. We're just going to have to uh, see how these lips do maybe next time I take the next lipstick off. Even more of this will come off, we'll see. Up next is an Ofra lipstick. I have it in a really, really ancient packaging. This is in Atlantic City. I love the Ofra formula and I really want to get, maybe not this color because I still have it and it's still fine, honestly. I really want to get a newer 
updated packaging, like at least one at some point in my collection. But for now, I have one of these. I think I only am down to one. I think I've either used up or decluttered a bunch of other really old ones that I had. And then since then, they had different packaging and now they have even newer packaging. So this is like second or third generation old. So we are going to go with Ofra Atlantic City next. I almost feel like I don't need a lip liner because my lips are clear as far as where the color should go. Okay, there's the applicator. Ofra has a drier formula, more moussey, or at least they used to. Dose of Colors is definitely a bit more liquidy, but they're both very comfortable. I feel like my lip swatch is already starting to get a little crazy. I have no idea how people do this with like 50 lipsticks. <laughs> But this is Ofra Atlantic City. I love this color. This is definitely more of that traditional, again, classic blue-based red. It definitely, to me, has a different tone than the previous lipstick I just swatched for you guys. It reminds me a little bit of Ruby Woo, but in a liquid lipstick form. And I really do like this one. I've had it for a long time, but I still enjoy it. And I have a lot of red lipsticks, so that's why none of them actually ever get fully used. Let me know what you guys think of this one. All right, we're still rocking a little bit of a pink lip that dose of color lipstick is not letting go it's just not up next we have a liquid lipstick from persona cosmetics this is in the shade holy grail and i really really enjoy the formula of this one, Persona Cosmetics, is a brand that was started a few years back by actually a YouTuber, a YouTube creator. She's been on YouTube for a long, long time. Her name is Sona Gasparian, or I guess in English it's Gasparian, I think. But she's a fellow Armenian lady. I am not a full-blooded Armenian, but my grandmother was. I do love following the Los Angeles Armenian ladies that have started their own brands. There's quite a few. Actually, I think Dose of Colors is owned and run by an Armenian woman and I follow her on Instagram and there's somebody else I mean obviously there's the Kardashians who I don't really follow much or support but I guess maybe that's a little hypocritical of me but I just figure they have enough they don't need my support there's somebody else that recently I discovered is an Armenian run company oh I think it's Elsie Cosmetics so both Elsie Cosmetics Dose of Colors and of course Persona Cosmetics are run by Armenian ladies, which is very exciting for me. This is going to be the next one that I try on. This one is quite liquidy. So here's Persona Holy Grail. It's another stunning red. It goes beautifully with cool tones. It goes beautifully with pearls. It's just such a bright, joyful red. It dries down quickly. It's definitely more transfer proof than, let's say, the Ofra formula, at least in my opinion. I haven't had any of these on long enough to do like a kiss test or anything like that for you guys, like a transfer test, but you can probably even see this dried down so fast because all I'm doing is I'm putting them on and then right away showing them to you guys. I'm not really waiting. I'm just going boom, boom, boom. So yeah, this one is another fave and actually one I really need to wear more often because every time I wear it, I think it's stunning. But of course this year, I wasn't wearing a lot of bold lips for obvious reasons. And when I was, I was reaching for my Sephora a cream lip stain because it is in my project pan because it is my oldest one and if and when it ever runs out i will definitely repurchase that one and same with this i think this is another really 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 beautiful red and you can tell like i'm a classic red kind of gal i have a few that are you know you're gonna see that are a little deeper or maybe a little brighter a little more orange but honestly give me a classic red any day that's my favorite all right, next we have a lipstick from Burberry. This is their Liquid Lip Velvet, and this is in Regiment Red. It's number 37, that's the color. So this came in a set of four liquid lip velvets, and there's the doe foot. I'm gonna put this on my lips and we're gonna see what this looks like. All right, so here's the Burberry Liquid Lip Velvet in Regiment Red. It is much more moussey, definitely feels more velvety, more matte, but smooth at the same time. 
Mm, that's a great formula. I have four of these because this was a holiday set. I want to say in 2018. And these are minis. I don't know. I was feeling bougie. I had been hearing people talk about this formula. I really wanted to try it. There was a nude color in there that I fell in love with and that's the one I do still use the most. But this, this is of course already a more brighter, more warm tone, more orangey red. So I don't gravitate toward this quite as often, but I do like it. And I feel like with this eye look with that glittery eye like this really pops and it is really pretty so yeah i'm dying to hear what you guys think of this color okay i needed to charge my phone <laughs> So let's get back into our lippy swatches. Still using the NYX liner and we are going to try a ColourPop lippy. This is in Frenchy. This is a matte. I think they call these what? Lippy sticks? I've had this for so long. I don't even know. Do they make this still? Do they make that color? Frenchy. Now this lip liner is not one that I would necessarily use with all of these colors, but I figured it's one of the two red lip liners I have. It's just a guide for me. It's not really this for any other purpose today. So here's Frenchy. It's a bit of a messier formula even though this is a matte formula. I feel like this one does tend to kind of glide and slide. And this is one I would be a little bit more weary of as far as like transfer on teeth but it's a beautiful color. It's definitely more of a again like a warmer brighter with a slight orange tint to it or a slight pinky tint to it. Red it's not the blue base the true classic red that I I enjoy but I've used quite a bit of this over the years. I really do still enjoy it and it is one of my reds so I wanted to show it to you guys. So here is Colourpop Frenchie. Okay next we have a Bite Beauty lipstick. This is one that's no longer available. They've reformulated all their products. I don't have anything that is like most recent by Bite Beauty because haven't really bought from them in a while with my no buy and all. This is in pomegranate and this is their high pigment pencil. That is what it looks like. And I'm going to try to apply this one without a lip liner and let's see how it goes. So here it is. This is Bite Beauty in pomegranate. I feel like unfortunately Bite Beauty hasn't been talked about as much as it used to. They have food grade products. They're safe for us because let's face it, I'm sure, you know, we lick things off and eat a lot of them makeup whether we like to believe it or not so bite beauty has always been a brand that has been famous for their food grade ingredients and i really love their lip products i haven't heard anyone talk much about them the entire year of 2020 i don't know what it is they used to be so hyped up everybody used to talk about bite beauty here on youtube and for some reason that hasn't been the case lately but this is a color i've loved for years. Uh, this is the second one of these I have gone through. I don't know if I actually fully finished it before it turned on me because since these products are food grade they do go bad a little bit faster. Although I have to say like knock on wood my Bite Beauty products have been holding strong because as you know with the no buy and all I have been using all of my older products and I've been using quite a lot of my Bite Beauty products this year just because I know I need to use them up first. They've been going strong and I am so excited for it. The only thing is all of my packaging that is like in this NARS type with the matte packaging with the coating they all seem to be getting like sticky and they're all housed in just acrylic drawers so I don't understand what is happening to all it's not just the NARS products it's anything that has this sort of packaging whether it's brushes whether it's makeup products if you guys have had the same thing happen to yours can you please let me know so that I don't feel like I'm going absolutely insane and if you have a cure for this sticky disease please let me know because it's just it's annoying. I don't know what it is. Is it the oils from my hands? But regardless, this is a lipstick I love. It is definitely not matte. It's more shiny, so it is a little more accident prone, but I definitely have loved pomegranate and I have no idea if they still make it I'm just in a reformulated version, but I do own it and still plan on wearing it. Okay, next we have another old favorite of mine. This is from NARS. This used to be in every kit, every 
Sephora favorites and I have used a lot of it. This is their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. I love this thing. I'm gonna try to do this without a lip liner because it's a pencil just like I did with the Bite Beauty. Let's see how this goes on its own. Oh gosh, I've forgotten how much I love this. I used to wear this so much. This is more of a brick red. It definitely has a bit of brown in it. It's so nice. It is so nice. I need to start using this a bit more. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this should go in my 2021 project pan. It just might. I love this lipstick or lip pencil or whatever you want to call it but yeah NARS really did well with this one I can see now in retrospect why this used to be in every favorites kit it's nice okay moving on we have another brick red this is from Kat Von D or what is it now KVD vegan beauty something something I, I bought it when this was Kat Von D and this is in Hellbent this is what used to be her studded kiss uh lipsticks I have no idea they still even around i don't think so and this is much darker so i don't know i was i was debating whether to put this in this video but i still consider this a red let's see how we do with this one and i'm going to use a liner for this it's definitely still a red it's a brick red it's a deeper brick red this is even darker than the nars but to me it's still a red i used to have the entire kit so Kat Von D back in the day years ago came out with a holiday set and I think nine different lipsticks in a mini size and I think I only have one left at this point because these depending on the color the formula was really really different some were creamy like this one which is why i still have this one in my collection some were really drying and not flattering at all so this is an hellbent i really do like this one let me know what you guys think okay next we have a formula that used to be one of my favorites this is an old generation <laughs> lipstick urban decay revolution lipsticks by now have had i think one or two upgrades but this is what the packaging used to look like back in the day and this is in bad blood and this is a matte formula this is another brick red i really really enjoy this formula and that color so let's try it on for you guys all these years later it's still amazing it glides on i do love the color and i think urban decay lipsticks are fantastic i've heard really great things about the lipsticks that replaced these i don't know if those are even still available but nonetheless i have a feeling they still make great lipsticks so if you guys have this pull it out rock it this december i mean look at that that's so so pretty and i think the name is perfect bad blood i mean it is it's a bit bloody up next we have my other mac red and this is in lady danger so this is my brightest most orange red lipstick i own this is definitely not one i pull for all the time but if i want to make a statement like a statement lady danger is the way to go so let's see what that looks like okay this is not for the faint of heart and i would say that while i like it this is probably more of a summer color like i'm not sure about this red for the holidays but you guys tell me what do you think i don't know i feel like while i like it i like the fact that i have it it's not one i pull for very often what do we think what do we think of lady danger hmm? Hmm. she's in my collection and I'm curious to know what you guys think. Okay, we have three left. This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick that is called So Rouge. Because this was a gift, I want to say three or four years ago, for making rouge at Sephora. I can't remember if there was anything else that came with this mini lipstick. And I have worn it quite a few times, but not enough times to use it up in the four years or whatever that i've had it so let's try it on and see what we think Ooh, that is still creamy after all of this time i do like Marc jacobs lipsticks a lot i have to admit that is nice this is reminding me a little bit of the nars pencil but a little creamier still i don't know if the color is exactly the same i'm going to swatch all of these on my arm sometime before i edit this video so you guys get to see all that but i really really like this i've forgotten how nice this is I haven't worn this in a really long time obviously i doubt you can get this anymore not that i'm even promoting that you do i'm sure you've got reds i'm sure you've got reds and i want to hear what they are 
Tell me what you have in your collection down below. I really do like this one. Next we have a Bare Minerals Mini. I got these, I'm sure, all as some sort of perks. This is in Seriously Red. This is another beautiful brick red. So let me prep with the pencil and try that one on. My lips are so red by now. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's try this on. This one's super creamy. This is another really nice warm red. I'm sorry, at this point things are getting a little messier, but hopefully you can still see the color nicely. This one is very comfortable on the lips. One that's kind of in between a brick and a more warm pinky red. I think this one looks really, really nice. I do prefer more matte reds just so they don't travel, but I really like the color. I haven't worn this one a lot, maybe only a couple of times. So I didn't quite remember what this one felt like, but I really do enjoy that. I saved another mini for the end, but it is a bougie mini. <laughs> it's a Christian Dior lipstick, and this is the Rouge Dior in 999 matte. I wish I knew what 999 was as far as the name. I'm sorry, I don't. This is another beautiful blue based red. Mine is starting to bend a little bit, so you can see it's getting damaged, which is a bummer. But let's see what this one looks like. All right, here it is. It is a gorgeous red. Unfortunately, it really feels like it's ready to fall out of the lipstick holder. It's really hard to apply, so I'm gonna have to see what to do about this one, if I can somehow secure it back in the tube, because if not, I'm gonna have a hard time using this. It is a beautiful, beautiful color, and there it is on my lips. All right guys, 15 lipsticks later, my lips are burning a bit, but I am so happy I did this because honestly, it made me remember all of my reds and it's got me excited to wear lip color again because let's face it, the year of 2020 has not been the year of the lipstick. So I am so, so thrilled that I got to do this and now I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out which reds I wanna wear for the actual holidays. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you you will share with me what are your favorite reds not that i need any more and not that i'm buying any this month yeah i really don't need any more reds i think there are other categories in my makeup collection that i am sort of lusting after and let's face it most of the time it's eyeshadow palettes but i still want to know what are your favorite reds and i want to know what are your favorites from today's swatch video? I really am curious. I'm curious to hear what you guys think looks good on me because I know what I enjoy, but our perceptions aren't always, you know, we have our own preconceptions about ourselves. So I'm really curious to hear from non-biased eyes that can't get into my head and feed on all of my insecurities or whatever it might be. I'm really, really curious to hear which ones were your favorites. And other than that, I'm so, so grateful that you were here watching me during my attempt at vlogmas or no buy must. I don't know if we'll get to 12 videos before Christmas. I'm really, really trying, but it's turning out to be a much busier month than I expected. I am still trying. I'm still definitely going to put out as many videos as I can. And if I don't quite get to 12 before Christmas, I am determined to get to 12 before 2021. So let's at least leave it at that. Again, thank you so, so much for being here, for supporting my No Buy Year, for supporting my No Buy Moss. I just want to remind those of you that are here for the first time to please subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe safe, take care of yourselves and those around you, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye!